Hey, Gearheads, Jeff at Gear Report. I got a bit of a problem I need some help with. Where should we go next on our magical journey through firearms reviews? You see, we got a lot of options here. I've kind of got some themes going. So my EDC is a Glock 17, you see here. We got a nice budget comparison for it here with the Canik. This $300 pistol that comes with a holster, a couple mags, a mag loader, a lock, really nice manual versus the $550 Glock 17 Gen 4. We're going to do those head to head. Another head to head, where are the 40 calibers here? We got an M&P Shield M40 Smith & Wesson. We have an FNS 40 from FNH. That'll be a neat head-to-head. -head. We've got uh, pocket guns, the Shield 40, the Shield 9. We got a little Taurus TCP 738. Sky was nice enough to send us their uh, CPX2. This, this is a baby right here. This was made and tested like three days ago and it's already in the safe here at Gear Report. We've even got a head-to-head -head within the Ruger family. So we got a couple family feuds we can do here. The Ruger LC9 and the LC9S Pro, notice there's no safety. There is a safety over here. So we can do a head-to-head -head there. We can do a head-to-head -head in the M&P family with the Shield 9 and the Shield 40. We can compare some 40 Smith & Wesson to what we see with the Ruger SR 1911 and 45 ACP. We got a lot of different directions we can go here. So uh, leave us a note in the comments. Let us know what interests you the most here. When I've posted some preliminary questions on Facebook and Gun District. A lot of people, they want to hear about the shield. So um, I'll tell you, I've shot the uh, 9 one time. A lot of these are brand new. You know, the uh, Glock 17 and the Ruger SR 1911 have been in the um, test pool for a bit. But most of these brand spanking new. Some of these have only been shot once. Some of them, actually I just unboxed, I haven't been shot at all yet. The M&P Shield 9, I really enjoyed firing that. That was a very nice experience. It's smooth, it's got a good trigger, it seemed to be reasonably accurate right out of the box. Very interested to see how the M&P 40 Shield stacks up to that because the FNS 40 had a bit more kick than I expected, and it's got more mass to it than the M&P 40 shield. So I'm really interested to compare these two and see if the little bit more mass of the FNS 40 helps it control the 40 Smith & Wesson recoil a little better, and if that negatively impacts the 40 shield versus the 9mm shield. We've even got a little 380 here so we can compare things. So a lot of different options on where we can go here. Let us know in the notes. Leave us a comment. Please like and subscribe while you're there. Don't forget to hit us on Facebook as well at Gear Report. Look us up on Gun District, gundistrict.com if you haven't been there. So let us know. Thanks.